Hi there, my fellow Java programmer. In this episode, you'll learn about the new changes in Java 10, and it's not as many changes as you might think, because most of them are under the hood and somewhat invisible. But there's one major change, and it's the introduction of the var keyword. So let's have a look at that right now. In the accompanying project, open up the Java 10 test class, and then create a new test method, and give it any name you like, and I'll just call it give me some of that Java 10. Good. Now create a new variable and I'll just create a warning variable with one of my favorite German warnings. It's Einfahrt Freihalten. And up till Java 10, you had to specify your variable, then your type. You had to make the type explicit, even though you can see or the compiler could see it's a string. Now in Java 10, you can hit all enter in IntelliJ IDEA and replace the explicit type with the var keyword. And the compiler is still smart enough to infer the correct type, which is a string here. Good, let's try that again. So I'm gonna go var count equals five, for example, and that also works, great. Now, before you get out the champagne to celebrate, let's have a quick look at what doesn't work. Imagine you want to create a new string array and you initialize it like so, so it's going to be one, two, three. Good. Now you might think you can simply go and replace the explicit type to var, but you'll get on compile error, it doesn't work. The only way to fix that is to make the type explicit again and not use the shorthand array initializer for that, so write it like so. Next are method references. Imagine you want to have a method reference to system out and then print them. Let's see if that works. So var method equals, and then briefly it looks all fine, but then you see, ah, the var keyword is underlined. That also doesn't work. Too bad. Now what happens if you create an empty variable, another count, another count on one line and on the second line you initialize it? Doesn't work. What happens if you take the variable, the local variable here, and put it as a field inside the Java 10 test class. Also doesn't work, so constructors don't work. And basically that means that the var keyword only works for local variables. Also, let me just quickly delete that and clean it up a little bit. If you have a for loop, for example, int i equals zero on i should be less than three, you can now replace the int here with the var keyword. And I get it, that's not that interesting at the moment. Now let's make things a bit more interesting. Imagine you have a method and it's called calculate something really interesting. Really interesting. Now, what Java developers like to do is return maps. And in this case, I'm going to return a nested map. So it's a map string, contains another map, contains another map, Right, so you have a really long generic type. And then also make sure to return, let's say, a new hash map, for example. Now, when you call that method up here inside your test, you can go calculate something really interesting, then extract the variable, and you'll see that is a huge generic type string here. You can actually make things simpler. Let me just quickly duplicate that line, call that map two, and then you can replace the whole thing with the var keyword. Now the whole thing is a bit of a two-edged sword, but because as you can see now, it might be a bit simpler to read, but now you have to go down to the calculate something really interesting method to see the return type of the method. And I personally think for smaller things like strings or integers, or maybe the one or the other object, it might be fine. But in practice, you and your team will have to find out when to use the var keyword and when not to use, and when it makes things more readable, or when it actually makes things less readable. Congratulations, I think you now know how to use the var keyword in Java 10, and soon you'll find another episode on this site, which will cover the smaller changes in Java 10, like the ones to the garbage collector or the Docker support. So stay tuned.